a coil for inductance, make sure that your coil is not connected to other things. You don't want a black box measurement of a coil. And with the other components, make sure you're that you're connecting to a post and not to the actual leads on the coil. Find a nearby post. An inductor has the property called inductance. Uh, this is a symbol for an inductor. It is simply just a coil of wire. So sometimes you'll see whole loops right here instead of half loops. This is a transformer. It's two inductors sitting next to one another. An indu inductance is measured in Henry's. It's a Weber per amp or a volt second per amp. And oftentimes in our lab, we're going to be measuring millihenries. Okay, and there's 1,000 millihenries for every Henry. To measure inductance, the first thing we want to do is set our black to com and our red to the Henry position, so that's the left side. Then we turn the selector to either millihenries or Henry's, and some this is not auto ranging like the capacitance. It is to a certain extent, so we're going to have to um, find out just by trial and error if we don't know. And you can see on the display right now that it's measuring in millihenries. So let's go ahead and hook up our inductor. Okay, so I've hooked up my inductor and this is going to take a moment for the measurement to stabilize. So once this stabilizes, you'll record your measurement. And do you know the uncertainty? The simplest way to find the uncertainty is just looking at this last decimal and see how it's counting. It's also not a bad idea to check with the manufacturer to see what the specifications are. But for the readability's sake, we would just record this measurement as 2.583 if it is stabilized, plus or minus 0.001 millihenries. Now if we were to connect the other inductor, so this is the opposite inductor, it's too much inductance. So this second the second coil has too much inductance for the meter to measure in millihenries. So we're going to set the selector to the henries. And so we see it's actually measuring millihenries there, because that's 860, 860 millihenries. But we had to set the selector to the henry position. So we'd record this measurement, and the uncertainty with this selector is at the millihenry level. Okay, or 0 0.001 henries. Again, you'll want to wait, oh, 30 seconds or longer for the measurement to settle down.